So, start of day five. We're pulling out of the luxury bear belly where we stayed last night. Sam is just making last minute adjustments. Ryan's on the gold rush today. He's on drop bars, which means I'm on the silk road. And uh, yeah, kind of just a steady, long old climb today. Off road and then drop down the far side. I think it's a road climb to finish again. So another great adventure out here on Morocco on these tightest adventure bikes. But first stop is the local ironmongers. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Thank you very much. Is uh, try and get a uh, small, uh, small screwdriver for Mix's lenses because they've rattled apart in the desert. So, uh, yeah, he's a bit worried about the entire lens collapsing. So, just trying to find a tiny screwdriver in the back streets of a mountain village in Morocco because it's part of the Standard Moroccan street lens surgery. Might be in luck. Let's get another one. Let's get another now. Oh, yeah. So that was a. What was that place called, Simon? Oregon. Oregon is officially the miracle stop. Not only did we manage to get Mick's lens tightened up and working again, but managed to knock over. The Silk Road, I think for the fifth time. <laughs> Poor thing. And the gears that were slipping about. Now, uh, well, touch wood. All working again so far. We're getting a donkey salute from somewhere over there. Thank you, Argan. I'm guessing that's today. Rolling out ahead of us. Nothing so beautiful as those flowers and make the photographer. It's funny because I know obviously these tyres have more drag. Ryan and I have been rolling against each other on the road for the past four days. So, And also these wheels, these tyres, that rear cassette, all pretty damn heavy. So it's kind of I'll be honest, I was expecting this to be a bit of a dog on these early road crime sections, but so far, very, very positively impressed. I mean, it might all change later on, but yeah, considering we've stacked on a on a load of water as well. So that's all in the front bags there. Ryan's up there, living his best, tightest gold rush life. And that Explorer gear set. And I'm back here, twiddling away in Axis GS. <laughs> I think they've just come down out the hill. Wondering if we're the goat herd. No Greg Minar here, mate. Gotta be kidding me. Sorry, bad goat joke. Look at them all. Raining goats and the goat avalanche. This place is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> just rolling through a beautifully lush valley high up in the mountains. Going through the snow melt, you can actually see the snow still on the peaks. Whoa. Definitely makes this much richer landscape agriculturally. And look at that view! That is incredible! Atlas, we are in you!
Right, Ryan's continuing his gravel bike masterclass over there. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you watch the uh, Titus Gold Rush video as well. As you can see, it's a seriously capable and quick descender. In the right hand. Woo! <laughs> and uh, it's 40 mil arches and tyres. It's working wonders down here so far. Moto gravel. Because <laughs> that's actually got slap your head angle for this bike only be half a degree but I absolutely pinned it down here mate total fucking respect total respect hang on let's get us a fist bump for sure that's such good fun boom <laughs> And even the road riding around here is beautiful. Look at that. Though I am glad that down in the distance is where we're heading for today. I knew my legs were going to come off at some point. I suspected it might be the day I had bigger, slower tyres to work with. Heavier tyres too. But at least I've got plenty of gears. And this is Imlil, little trekking town, right on the edge of the Atlas Mountains. So a little more touristy than we've been used to, but not as touristy as some places. It's got a real Himalayan vibe to it. And surprising when there's mountains ahead. So that's the end of day that's the end of day five. Amazing. Again, I mean that was pretty much that was yeah. I mean that was it was a little strenuous in places, but just pretty much the perfect gravel day that I reckon. Superb day. <laughs> yeah, amazing trails. Superb. Both bikes performed flawlessly again. I mean, we got a slight, small nick in the rear tire on the uh, Gold Rush, but it seems to have sealed itself quite happily. Ryan was absolutely flying on it today. And Silk Road has definitely looked after me on the descents. It's been a steadier day on the climbs, but yeah. Uh, like I say, managed to actually somehow improve the shifting on the bent poor bent rival rear mech on the uh, gold rush by it falling over again but absolutely flawless shifting on the silk road so yeah great superb pair of bikes for this trip